Hello and welcome to this new video in the Scala playlist. In this video, we are going to see concepts surrounding to interpolations. And if you have been following the Python playlist also in the channel, you will see the flow of the playlist is very much similar. And uh, what I would also want you to understand is there is just slight differences in terms of syntax for Python and Scala. So if you can learn both in parallel in terms of comparing, that would be great which will help you and for the reason that I've shown you. So let's get started and understand what the term interpolations is. Before that, I want to just create a few variables and get started with a few things. So let's say I say val is equal to 100. Execute this. Now we know it will create a variable name x, assign the value 100 and infer the data type as integer by default. Let's say I want to print this output this way, print ln. And I want to print the value of x. Now, the thumb rule is whenever you call any variable, anywhere, you will not add close it in double quotes. What we have understood until now is anything which is a string <coughs> or a text, you will enclose it double quotes. However, you will not enclose the variable in double quotes this way. Why? Because this becomes a literal string. It is no longer a variable. So if I execute it, what I get? I don't get the output of x or the value of the x which is stored in it. Instead, I get x as printed, which is literal. So keep that in mind. I just write x. Moving on next. Now I want to print something as a sentence. The value of variable x is 100 in this way. So all that is nothing but text. So I enclose everything in text this way. Is the value of variable x is colon dash and then I want to now bring in the value of x so what I can do is outside double quotes this is one of the way plus which is concatenation and then join x so what this will give me is exactly what I wanted maybe a space over here this is just one way however there are better ways to insert the value of variable or insert the variables in a string so that is nothing but interpolations so what is interpolation is it acts like a placeholder where you can substitute the value of variables and let's see how to do this the same thing in a better way. So I'll copy this and paste it over here. Scroll down. When you're doing interpolations, you can write the variable name inside this way. But let me just execute this. This is still not going to produce 100. Why? Because now I have included the variable x inside the double quotes. So there are two things you should understand. So as far as Scala, there are different types of interpolations that we can do. The first step we are watching is string interpolations. So here at the beginning, before the double quote, you type s, which is string interpolation. And how will the command understand if the value of x variable needs to be called? Because if I run this now, it will still give me x as the name of the variable. So you should prefix a dollar over here. So prefix dollar before every variable name. Now you get the actual output. So just a slight difference between, you know, concatenation as compared to this. People who don't know interpolation, they would use concatenation in this way, wherein they would print the variable name outside. However, if there is one variable, that's fine. If there are a lot of variables, every time you have to open the double quote, add the plus operator, and then start the double quote further on. I'll let you know what that means. In, in a short time now. So coming back to the interpolation, this is string interpolation, wherein we are substituting the value of variable x by its actual value. So here I am saying interpolate this and the essence is you should specify dollar before the variable. That is important. So this will print the value of x. Now what I was trying to explain is, let's say if I create another variable. y is equal to 200 in this way and then I wanted to print the same thing I want to print the statement as the value of variable x is 100 comma the value of y variable is 200 so if I had to do that if we if we go through the concatenation method so now this is join then I will have to join another sentence double quote let's say comma and we can say and 
no need of comma i'll remove that comma because we are using and just a grammar and value of variable y is this way and then outside you'll have to concatenate y so i'm just trying to tell you how interpolation helps us to get rid of all these you know mistakes which can come across even if you miss a slight double quote here and there it can cause problems so instead what you can do a better way is interpolation although it is new for beginners you might think you know the concatenation is better but trust me this is much easier now what you can do is just continue and just say and value of variable y is then what do we do dollar y that's it because s we have already prefixed so this is much better you can write everything inside in enclosed in double quotes no matter how many variables you want to insert just make sure you are referring to the variable and then writing dollar sign or prefixing dollar sign before it and at the start before the first double quote you are saying s this means string interpolation so what it will do is it will replace the values of variable with the actual value i mean the and the name of the variable with the actual value so this is how string interpolation will help so what are these things is these are acting like placeholders this will get replaced by their original values when the command is executed and returned so this is one of the type of string interpolations the next interpolation technique that we are going to learn is here remember s was for string interpolation that we were trying to do so there is another thing as well let's move on and create a variable say val a is equal to let us say i am trying to store a number this way which is of many digits after the decimal so this obviously will get inferred as double why it got inferred as double because there was a decimal value otherwise else it would have got converted into integer by default so now i want to print this value however i want to only print up to let's say two decimal places so how can i do this so i can say print ln and let's say i'm saying this with the value of variable a is then we can say colon dash dollar now we are getting used to it and then say a and if i do string interpolation s to start with the value will get printed over here this way but however what i want is only up to two digits so here we can use another for interpolation technique use the f letter and here what we can do is here we can say percentage f and run this so this is fine now what we can do is after percentage i can say dot 2 and run now so now you see dot 2 means only two decimal places if i change this to let's say dot 3 i'll get three decimal places so you have to remember this add f at the beginning and then percentage f will return as it is but what we are interested in is getting those decimal places specifically so after percentage you say dot 2 dot 3 or dot 4 and so on words this is specific example and there is one final thing which is the raw interpolator so let's say i can show you this directly in println if i write hello world for example this will print hello world let's see if i put slash n over here and try to run this what this will do is this will break into two lines slash n what it does is it prints the following output or following words whatever you have typed after slash n into new line so it is just a command to break the word into new line however what i wanted is i wanted to print as it is so here what you do is there is another type of inter interpolation called as raw so just mention raw it will keep the content as it is so none of these you know these kind of special i mean characters or escape characters they would work over here raw will print as it is whatever literal you are typing but mostly i would see the string interpolation technique which we saw at the start this one this comes to use practically more often now you either use this or concatenation but remember with concatenation you will end up 
facing a lot of headaches because you'll have to if you're concatenating or rather you know inserting a lot of variables like 10 15 which is very much possible in any project then you will have to be very careful about those double quote opening and closing whereas string interpolation technique has only one double quote at the start and at the end rest all you just insert the variables inside with the prefixing of dollars and just type s at the beginning that's it so this will take care of everything this is your choice but i just wanted to show you about the interpolation technique in scala so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned